the goal of having this on that car would be insane. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Protective Film Solutions. Thank you for watching the channel and for subscribing. Uh, today I have a very special video because of uh, a few reasons. Uh, one, I have a 2020 Aston Martin Vantage behind me that our friends at Aston Martin Newport Beach have uh, been so kind to uh, provide. Uh, but there's a big reason why. Uh, this is not my car, I'm just borrowing it for the day. And uh, as uh, some of you guys might know, I love my project car. It's a 2009 Vantage, done a GT3 uh, hood, uh, performance parts, exhaust, suspension, wheels, tires. And um, I do love the car, but if you guys have noticed, I have not been modifying the car uh, shortly after I got it, just because I have a uh, kind of a goal in mind. And uh, this car has really, really started to grow on me. And the reason why is because I had a thought. So Aston Martin has a halo car. Um, and uh, some of you guys might know which one that is. And uh, I've been looking online at the photos, looking at videos, and kind of researching the car for the past six months now. And um, there's a, a goal of mine to do an insane build with the Vantage that no one else has done before, nor do I think anyone has thought to do. And uh, it sits uh, right here. So without further ado, uh, we have a 2017 Aston Martin Vulcan. Look at this thing, guys. It is insane. I am speechless. We get, we get a lot of cars in the shop and um, I, I've been here for about two years now and I've seen literally everything, but I have not seen a Vulcan in person. And uh, we just got this car in and it is insane. So seeing it, I mean, you guys can see how big this car is. It truly is a uh, really rare hyper car. So if you guys don't know anything about the, the Vulcan, they made 24 of these in the whole world. Uh, it is powered by a seven liter V12 engine uh, with three modes. It's got 500 horsepower, I think 650, and then 830 horsepower, uh, depending on what you're gonna be doing tracking a car. Obviously this car is not street legal. Uh, however, I know there is a company that makes a conversion which adds the headlights on there. Um, I think it adjusts the suspension, puts real glass in the, in the car, but I mean, this thing is just insane. And if you guys look closely, you can see that it has the vented front fenders. Um, it has the added line on the bottom. This is all part of the pro kit, uh, which the company goes in there, they add all these pieces to it, which gives it even more downforce. Uh, I think it lowers the car a little bit too. They tighten up the suspension. And uh, I think they add the canards as well. So the canards are added too. But I mean, just look at this car. We'll open up and so you guys can see inside. Super lightweight doors. Obviously the doors go up just like uh, the traditional Aston Martin. And this thing is all, all business. So all carbon fiber on there. Um, it has the Recaro halo seats. And then of course the steering wheel you can see, it's got all the buttons uh, needed for racing the car. And um, just insane, insane. So I'm obviously super excited because um, I haven't seen this car in person and uh, we might actually be getting two of them before a show. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. But here's the goal of the car. I'll go over right now in the breakdown. So again, our friends at Aston Martin Newport Beach uh, provided me with the 2020 Vantage. Um, this car has grown on me a lot over the past year. Um, and the 2020 actually has a few additional options, which is the vented hood, the clear taillights, and a few other small subtle changes. Um, the way I want to spec this car out is I want a base model, almost like a stripper model. Just black on black, black Alcantara interior, black exterior so I can kind of do what I want with it. Um, I don't need the uh, upgraded wheels. I don't need any of the added stuff on there. I want the lightest model and I want it as basic as possible. So I'm out of breath. So here's the goal. I've been working with a designer, John Sibol. You guys have probably heard of him before. He does epic, epic 3D renderings, which are realistic too. And what you can do with that is transfer that into making a production. Uh, obviously this will be a one-off build, but we can make it a production piece. So it's gonna have four main parts. 
So first part, the mouth on the car. As you guys can see, the front of the 2019-2020 is very similar on the Vantage. So what it is is basically they extend this piece out further and then you have the front splitter which extends out as well. So that would be the first thing to be done. The second part is the side exit exhaust as well as the side skirt which is fully functional. It's all vented for heat to make sure it allows all the exhaust to uh, not catch your car on fire. And uh, of course the side exit exhaust is a must. And of course looking at the back of the car where all the business is, we would do a full functional rear diffuser just like this and then the wing. The wing we would not do the pro piece on there uh, but this whole rear diffuser just like this and the wing essentially on the back on here. So basically we would gut out all of this stuff on here that's not needed since we'd have a side exit exhaust anyways and the trunk will get a full mounted wing on the back end on here. We'd make sure it's all supported right because it will have a, a lot of downforce and we want to make sure Make sure it's fully functional. Um, so that's all the kind of the body work and the carbon fiber that we would do on the car. Of course, the wheels, uh, tires, and brakes. So if you actually look at this style compared to the Apex wheels on the car now, so Apex makes a 10-spoke uh, I-beam design wheel, which is very, very similar to the Vulcan. So you can see on here, very similar design. So essentially we're using the same wheels and just going really wide with it for the new body. So that would take care of the wheels. Michelin, of course, they rock a, this one is a race series tire, but they usually run a Pilot Sport Cup too. And then uh, maybe, maybe we can work with Brembo and kind of pull something together to get a GT kit on it. So that would be the second part of the car. And then of course the third part of the car, the interior. So, as you can see, this has the race wheel, all the bells and whistles on there, and then it has functional halo seats and a harness bar we'd have to do. So we would do this style steering wheel um, with an all Alcantara, and then possibly some Recaros to kind of match this whole theme. So now I got these cars moved side by side, you can see, so we definitely have a lot to work on to get that rear end of the new Vantage to look more like the Vulcan with that wing and rear diffuser. But I think we can do it. It's gonna take a lot of work, but the goal of having this on that car would be insane. So you can kind of see the rest of the car side by side. And of course that front splitter again right on here. So you can see the similarities on the front mouth. Of course again this whole car just needs to be lowered on coilovers. Get rid of the wheel gap on there but I mean you can really kind of see the vision there of it side by side. Alright guys so here's the reality of it. This is going to be extremely expensive to do. Um, I would love to partner with uh, some of the manufacturers that we're currently working with and also a few new ones. Um, if you guys have any input on who you recommend for some of the carbon fiber work or body uh, modifications, uh, please put it in the comment section below. Um, so we have a good idea of what we want to use for our wheels, tires, brakes, seats. Um, obviously we'll do a full body PPF, blonde ceramic coating on it, we'll get a window tint done um, and we'll get that all knocked out. Uh, but really it's going to come down to kind of chipping away at this. So. First things first, Project Aslan needs to go for sale. It's gonna break my heart because I love that car. It's been so reliable for me and uh, it really, it, 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 I turned that car from my vision to reality. And of course it's not as extreme as this build, but I really do love that car and the way it turned out. So first things first, selling that car, free up some funds so I can uh, hopefully try to source one of these from Aston Martin Newport Beach. Uh, this is a 2020 model. Uh, the 2019 model is about the same. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for a black on black base model uh, Vantage, and uh, I'm sure they can work some magic and find one across the country for me. So this is how it'll work. We'll basically chip away at doing the suspension, wheels, tires. Uh, we will do the uh, brakes. We'll do the seats, the steering wheel, uh, the four pieces on the body, so that front splitter, the side rockers, the rear diffuser, the wing. And then uh, we will do the side exit exhaust. My buddy is an amazing fabricator and I know he'll uh, be down to take on the project for that. 
Um, and I think if I do it right, we can chip away at it and um, make it work for Monterey Car Week 2020. So what do you think? Driving this car up looking like a Vulcan up to Monterey, that would be pretty, pretty damn epic. So uh, the only way we're going to make this work is if you guys watch the video, subscribe, and uh, share this around because uh, we want to make this a reality. So um, if you guys like what you see, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next video.